Hello and welcome to this video tour of this 2010 Toyota Yaris 1.33 dual VVTi TR. Looks resplendent in its blue paint. My favourite colour for Toyotas. And one of my favourite cars. These are fantastic little cars. Really practical, really super reliable. Economical, cheap to tax, £30 a year on this one. Cheap to fuel, it's got stop start. Really, all the car you actually need. This one's in great condition. It's got a full service history. It's a five door. It looks really well. I think you'll agree. In terms of specification, we've got four alloy wheels, LED brake and tail lights, and a boot. Big boot. And then the seats fold, but they also, if I can do this with one hand, maybe not. Probably not. Hang on. Also, slide. So you get extra room. If you've got more things to carry than people. This is the petrol obviously. You can see the seat belts are where they were from the MOT, it just passed. 12 months MOT on the car. Um, plenty of room in the back here, as you can see. Isofix points, don't know if you can see that. Room for three in the back here. Great headroom. Nice safe car. Fog lights on this model. Inside, be better if I moved it forward. Before I do that, we'll just go around the outside. It's a pretty good condition car, this. It's uh, obviously the year it is, so there's a few defects. Bit of curbing to the front alloy wheels, you might expect. Tiny scrape down there. Get myself out of the way. Tiny scrape down there. Bit of curbing there. Back alloy is really good. The old parking ding, but nothing. Major, it's all original paint as far as I can tell. Really straight car, honest. <laughs> yeah, honest straight car. In great condition. You can see there's no dents or dings really. Remarkable condition actually, I would say. For the year. We'll just move it forward so you can actually see the interior. You can see it. Fires in the button. A little bit better. So you get these lovely dials here. Low mileage really, 84566 if we stand here you get CD player with a radio auxiliary in for your iPods and other devices. You get air conditioning, which works, steering wheel controls, electric mirrors, electric front windows. What more do you need? Amazing storage space. So we're looking one up there. Got all the documents for this car. More storage there. Cup holders here and there. Another cup holder there. Drinks holders. Very practical car. Loads of room in here. Super high quality Toyota build quality. 
as you'll see in a driving video, which was actually shot before I had the MOT and service done, so that was as it was. It runs even better now. Um, it's a fantastic car to drive. Really good value, really reliable. Got everything you need on it. So let's see uh, what it's like to drive. It's been too long since I've had one of these Toyotas in. And the, the feeling of uh, reliability just never fails to outstand me. These are brilliant cars. It just feels so well made. There's no rattles or anything. Um, just trying to figure out the trip computer. Done 84,000 miles on this one. Tight as a drum. Runs beautiful. Forty-six miles per gallon average. Showing on this trick computer. And as far as I know, it's been used as a town car, so um, that's very impressive. It's got start-stop. <coughs> well, I haven't managed to review a Yaris yet because they go out the door so quickly when I get them in. I have done the Auris, which has had the same engine and was the same colour, in fact. I was super impressed with that engine in that big heavy Auris, so it ought to be more than enough for this Yaris. Ninety-nine brake horsepower you get from the one point three three with its dual VVTI system. <laughs> Gear change. Absolutely lovely. Has been on every Japanese car I've had in. Lovely, precise, small gate, pleasure to use, and the clutch and the steering, really light, as is the brake pedal actually. Everything's really easy to modulate. It's a very easy car to drive. Very quiet as well. It's a lack of wear that's always outstanding, but outstanding with these as well. Like eighty-four thousand isn't any uh, isn't light work. The steering wheel, lovely. The lever hasn't perished. All the controls that, as they probably did when they left the factory. There's a real quality to the way these cars are built. Do a couple of trucks instead, but drop it to fur dear. See if we can get the uh, VPTI to kick in. Feel it there, over 4,000, it really takes off. And we're actually breaking the speed limit a little bit there. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Delivers its 99 horsepower quite amusingly. Yeah, that's much faster than I expected there. But how does it handle? Let's find out. Pretty far up there on the rev range. Again, I'm gonna to have to short shift because we're on the speed limit. Yeah, it's quite quick. This car is currently as delivered to me, hasn't yet to be serviced, but it has had got has got a great service history, serviced every year. So prior to sale, we will have a fresh service and a fresh MOT on it. Six speed, so I'll just go into six there. It's very serene. Light steering doesn't give you much feedback, but it's certainly completely unfazed by this road, really. Plenty of grip on offer. Very planted and secure, very mature feeling car, actually, especially considering it's a 2010. Super Mini's weren't always this great then. Over the bumps. Suspension's let you know it's doing its work, but no bangs or knocks and quite a smooth ride considering how bad that road is. Just feels so unflustered at anything. You want to accelerate quickly, it'll do that. You want to bumble around, it'll do that. 
you want to drive it for 85,000 miles and expect nothing to really deteriorate it's done that I'm sure it'll do many many more as well I mean, the last one I sold done 100,000 or so and it felt no different from this really air conditioning works everything else seems to work no surprises there are there that's what people expect from Toyotas and that's what you actually get here we'll just take it on the motorway or the dual carriageway and see what it's like there just to give you a complete view of the car we've got high expectation with a six speed gearbox it's quite impressive should make it a decent little motorway car as well as everything else and then really you've got a car with no drawbacks you can see why these are so popular Sixth there, and that's 70 miles an hour. Uh, 70 miles per hour, quite less, quite significantly less than 3,000 RPM there. Was that 3,750, 3,800, 2,800? Sorry, 2,800 RPM. Lovely, very quiet. Apart from the whistle, it looks like it's coming from that windscreen wiper there. Yeah, try and sort that out. Other than that, very quiet, very pleasant motorway car. There's very little other noise coming from the car. No road tyre noise, no massive engine noise. Great car. If you're interested, please uh, call us. You can find our website details below in the description. All our details are on there.